Maybe it's over here. No? Nothing? Did I just imagine there was something here? Well, what I'm not going to do on stream because, man, reveal really slows me down. Uh, now that I have reveal, I can use it to find items in barrels and stuff. But first we're going to go ahead and get another gym. So that was pretty straightforward. Um, just push the stone in front of the water and it stops the water. Um, I guess that's kind of um, an idea that gets expanded on later. It's really just uh, another form of a switch, I guess. Oh wait, is there anything down here? No, it's blocked off. Um, and they give me that whole wide area to move the statue around in too. I mean, I don't know why, it just, it's more interesting than just a straight up switch to have like something to push in front of the water, I don't know. It's not like you walked over and pushed the button. You, there is technically some more thought you have to put into it. You have to know, okay, I want to push that statue in. And here, oh, now I get a foreshadowing of, I need to get this gate open first so I can grab that statue to put in front of the water because that'll allow me to jump across or to climb the ladder across to the other side. But I can't move that gate open now. Uh, interesting to note that there is a secret tunnel into the palace that we just discovered. Although it was all locked off, there was gates in front of it, so we can't exactly use it. Just an interesting bit of lore, I guess, for the world. And it's access to this random spot over here. Anything here? Yeah, sleep bomb. Um, so interesting thing about, or not so interesting thing about this place. You gotta talk to this guy. Yeah, that's all I have to do is just talk to that guy before these people will uh, leave town. Oh. Let me grab that. So there's this tour group going around, and they're going to get on this boat that we need to get on the boat too, but um, I don't know why. There's a problem. Okay, well, I do know why. They're... The sea we need to cross is dangerous now since the eruption of Mount Aleph and the synergy stones that went flying over the continent. Um, I guess more or less over the world. It's pretty big, I guess, now that I think about it. Um, so yeah, there's monsters in the sea, and the sailors are uncomfortable with taking a boat across at this time. So... This whole group of travelers, they're going over, they want to cross the sea to go to uh, Colosso, which I'm skipping over the text just because I want to get through it, but um, they want to go see Colosso. It's a, a tournament of fighters. I think maybe one of these guys, some of these guys even maybe want to get in, but uh, it's going to be too late for them. Uh, spoilers. They won't be able to get in. The registration is going to be closed. Um... But uh, what is going to happen is they're going to complain enough that uh, they'll convince the captain to set sail anyway. And I'll be there. I'll be like part of the bargaining to uh, allow the ship to sail because I'm like a warrior or whatever. And yeah, you had to go into the, to the inn there and talk to that guy in order to activate this little cutscene here where people are talking about leaving. It's kind of silly. It's like a spot where I got stuck the first time I played this long, long ago. Because uh, it's like, where do I go? I talked to... I, well, I didn't like talking to people in the first place, and then uh, 
there was nowhere else to go. If I use reveal... Oh, yep, yeah, you can see the sparkles here. Telling me that there's something inside. Interesting use of the skill. Out of my way. Um, wait a minute. This is the city that Ivan, that um, Master Hammett is from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can have a little uh, conversation here if we want. Lord Hammett's palace. And um, they're going to bring Ivan out because he knows the guy. It's Ivan, servant to Lord Hammett. Ivan? I didn't recognize you. You're so tan. But it really is you, Ivan. So I guess that's just because uh, we've been traveling, I guess. He's not uh, used to being out under the sun, it seems. So yeah, here we're finding out for sure that Lord Hammett... Uh, sure, I'll leave. Oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, there is... Um, this is just like confirmation that Lord Hammett has been... Uh, that he is being kept prisoner. Uh, we have the Shaman's Rod. Wait, they didn't know? They didn't know where Master Hammett was uh, being kept? I almost feel like I shouldn't have done this just because it's going to delay getting through the game. I should be trying to go through the hero quickly, but uh, why not? This is just a little... There's no dialogue going on here. It's just a little... They're just acting like uh, they're having a conversation as the screen comes colored again. You realize you're in the current time. That was like a... I don't know, a storytelling method that they have just to like make it seem like you're recounting the story to each to them to each other. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna let Hammett go. Are you saying Dadampa won't release Hammett? I agree with Ivan. If they were going to release him, they'd have done it by now. Sorry, Lady Yana. I think Ivan might be right. Man, wouldn't a remastered version of this game be nice to have, like, more detailed character models rather than these pre-rendered pixely sprites? I mean, it looks fine on the Game Boy Advance, but any bigger screen and it just looks pixely. Uh, can we guarantee Hammett's safety if we send soldiers to attack? Mm -hmm, probably not. Cannot do it. I cannot put Hammett's life at risk. Can we do something to help? Oh, sure. Oh, well, it's about time you started agreeing with me, Isaac. What are you two talking about? Garrett thinks that we can help. It is too dangerous. If you fail, your lives will be in danger, too. Besides, don't you have your own quest to pursue? Yeah. I thought so. I knew there had to be a reason Ivan had stayed with you, instead of returning home directly from Vault. Oh, uh, the bridge was out too. That was another reason we couldn't come directly here. Uh, then what will happen to Lord Hammett? Hammett is a good hostage for them. They will not kill him. We shall wait for another message from Lumpa. Lady Leana, I cannot leave like this. It'll be fine, Ivan. Hammett would not want to distract you from... Um, I apologize. I have said more than I should. It sounds like Hammett knows about our mission, doesn't it? I suppose I can keep a secret no longer. <coughs> Very well, I shall tell you. He swore an oath to a Jupiter adept. A Jupiter adept? Have you heard of a village called Vale? Yes, I'm from Vale. You are from Vale? Really? Then the prophecy was true. It's really not that far from Vault. I don't know why you would think that's a mysterious place. What prophecy? Three years ago, or, or three years after the terrible storm that struck only Mount Aleph, 
that was the storm that was triggered by a statue of Seminardi after they tried to steal from the place and failed. Uh, Ivan must depart on a journey with the warriors from Vale. Wait a minute, there was a prophecy that prophesied of the storm that Satros Marani triggered? Who is this Jupiter adept? Oh, I know who it is. Never mind. Uh, so it was foretold. I've heard nothing of any such prophecy. It happened several years before Hammett founded Kele. Wow, how long ago was that? He was off traveling. Hammett founded this city? And uh, it was just a few, it was just several years before then. How long ago was this? Uh, must have been a long time ago, before Ivan's time, before he was born. Hammett felt he had reached an impasse as a merchant then. He risked his life on a journey to find a new source of business. He was in mortal danger at the southwestern edge of the world. Southwestern edge of the world. That is true. I know where that is. When some adepts appeared and saved his life, that is a village of Jupiter adepts we will see in the next game. He had lost consciousness when he awoke. He found himself in their village. Just a moment. Am I from that village? Yes. The adept gave him the shaman's rod and you, along with some doubloons. Cool. So here, take the shaman's rod, this kid, and some money. <laughs> doubloons? Were they golden doubloons? <laughs> of course, yes. Let's see, you are called... Uh, I am Mia, Lady Liana. It was, a, uh, it was a lot of gold, Mia, but he also received some business advice. Business advice? Hammett? The greatest merchant ever known? Yes, Garrett. Hammett has the adepts, has the adepts to thank for his success. Wow, I've never heard of anything like that says the guard. He was advised to buy silk in Xi'an and sell it in Tolby. To see anything sell so well, it's like a dream come true. There's no denying that he, when Hammett picked up his knack for business. Did he have to promise them anything in return? Ah, uh, yes, Ivan. It was something you will need on your journey. Something you need on our journey? The adept asked Hammett to use the shaman's rod to obtain it. He looked for this object wherever he went, but he never, but he could never find it. Then three years ago, a storm struck, one that hit only Mount Aleph. Hammett was worried that time was running out, but he had managed to unearth a clue just in time. That Ivan is why he, that Ivan is why he took you with the caravan on his last journey north. I had no idea. So that must be why he left the rod in my care. But then... No, Ivan, you mustn't blame yourself. It was my carelessness that caused the rod to be stolen. And ultimately, that's why Lord Hammett is being held in Lupa. You must continue your journey and complete your quest. You can't blame yourself. But what will happen to Hammett? I will handle this. And don't forget the soldiers of Kale. Continue on your journey, and do not worry about Hammett. I am sorry I cannot tell you more about the Shaman's Rod. No, don't apologize. The Shaman's Rod will help uh, us find that thing we need for our quest, right? Now this thing, I'm not sure off the top of my head what that is. Will you look for it? Sure, I, but we need the Shaman's Rod to get it. If Isaac says we will, then there's nothing to worry about. Is it... No, it can't be. So, now I'm just thinking the Shaman's Rod you have, you take with you to the second game, and you kind of give it back to the people of Shaman's Village? That's where uh, Hammett got it? And so I'm not really sure what we need the Shaman's Rod to obtain for our quest. Unless it was just meant to to uh, signal to them when Ivan returns, or not Ivan, but uh, or who should return with the Shaman's Rod would be, I guess, meant to get a treasure that is there. But it's not even like a gimme. It's uh, you get to enter a contest to get something. So I'm really not sure what we need the Shaman's Rod for. Which, 
it makes me wonder like how many things are like plotted ahead of time and how many things are actually known by the developers when they write the story because I mean there were a few years uh, between the games just a few I just wonder if they knew everything before they finished both games Caragul Sea is surrounded by land, so technically it's not a real ocean. A true ocean is totally open. The ocean surrounds land, rather than a sea is surrounded by land. Yeah, so Garrett's like, he's like excited to see an ocean someday. So what I could do right now is the bridge north to a uh, vault is repaired, so I could like go back through the old towns. Ordinarily, when I'm playing through the game on my own, I would go back through the towns and, uh, well, I don't have a ticket yet. I would go back through the towns using Reveal just to, like, grab a bunch of all the secret items that are left in pots that I didn't pick up. Uh, 600 coins. Wow, I just barely had enough to, uh, to buy a ticket. Wow. Crazy. Crazy. 